let's let's look up like Google best ramen in Portland. What's the one off water? There's one that's like, hold on, this is, I feel like it's um, like, oh, Noroneko. All right, that's where we're going. Noroneko. We're coming for oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it happy hour? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, baby. All right, let's take a little look. Do we make it for happy hour? We did, we got half an hour. Half an hour for happy hour? Right. What's that thing look like? There's food. Drinks. What kind of drinks they got? Jinro's our house soju. Uh, most of them are gonna be mixed with the, like the black pepper, cucumber, and hibiscus. are mixed with our house made syrup. The grapefruit is with grapefruit, lemon juice, and uh, simple syrup. The oolong is just gonna be mixed with tea. It comes in a tall glass. Can I do this with this? Yeah. I'll do uh, a Sephora. Okay, cool. Did you want to get into the snacks? Yeah, can we do, uh, you, you do you want them? Do you want them boiled or fried? Fried. Right. Mm -hmm. Just one order? Yeah. One or two. <laughs> and I want you to surprise me. Out of the modern ramen or the traditional ramen, if you could sum up this place in one bowl of ramen, that's what I want to do. Okay. Cool. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Oh, what just came? All right. Essentially, they're pot stickers. Talk a little bit louder, buddy. They're pot stickers. I don't want to talk louder here. Oh, you don't want to talk about it, huh? huh. But uh, I believe they're filled with beef. Beef? Yeah. And what they're, are you putting on them there? Uh, essentially a, a version of soy sauce. It's called gyoza sauce. There's sunflower oil in there, soy sauce, and one other thing. I forgot what she said. <laughs> All right. Good. Here we go. Good. It's good. Yeah, very really good. What are you? What are you? T what are you tasting right now? Break it down for me. Texture. It's a uh, spongy in a good way. Spongy in a good way. Okay. You nailed it with like the spongy in a good way. Yeah. Cause it's crispy, as you can see. Yeah. There's some crisp on that. There's some crisp, but it's spongy. It's savory but salty. Like it's not too salty. Mm. Okay, so I had her surprise me with what she thought summed up this restaurant in one bowl, and you chose what? Gabe's favorite ramen. Gabe Rosen is the owner. Okay. He chose the shio ramen with a special egg, pork belly, and corn butter. We have the kamaboko, which are fish cakes, right there. Fish cakes. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. And what did you get me? Thank you. It's a miso ramen with pork belly. Miso ramen with pork belly. Mine looks way more dope. So we're gonna see. <laughs> Bite into that thing, Miho. Are you on your phone at dinner? What? He's on his phone at dinner. No, but this ramen is fucking dope. And it's a big ass bowl. The key, at least to my ramen, I got the miso ramen. You add, you take this top off and you sprinkle a lot of this in there. Yeah, that shit is dope. And then you take one scoop of this chili sauce that they got, one scoop, and they added just the right amount of flavor. I don't know if you added it, but. I did not do chili sauce. The chili sauce. Oh my God, he was just talking about how full he was. so full right <laughs> I'm actually really And I didn't realize you, you can't take this to go. Can you take it to go? It's yeah, not. we need to turn, we need to go. We need to go for But I feel like, is it recommended? Like they get mushy? I feel like the noodles. I feel it's like better. It's better here. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah. It's not a to-go. That's what I was trying to tell him. Like you can't. Well, like, 
Yeah, yeah, because then you like eat it later. You're like, oh, this shit sucks. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no. yeah this is gonna be cold. This should be cold. Yeah, yeah. Noodles. Fuck off. Yeah. So, but we do our we do our noodles. We have the broth and the potato and the noodles and the vegetables in a separate. That way, your noodles won't get oversaturated and fat. <laughs> They're like that noodles. big. Yeah. Yeah. That's smart. So she recommended don't take ramen to go. And if you are going to take ramen to go, do it here. Cause they split it. They split it up. They split it. The noodles in one in one thing. Noodles in one container, and all your vegetables and meat, and then the broth in another. Really smart. I dig that. It's really smart. What are your What are your thoughts? It was uh, other than being really full. It was very flavorful. The noodles were just cook, cooked just right. Um, Mine had spinach, and the spinach wasn't too soggy, which I really hate when it's soggy, but like, the spinach was good. I can confirm that. Mine had spinach too, yeah. and it was like, it, it was, was just perfect. Right. Yeah. yeah. It was just right. Um, the spices were great. Um, the chili wasn't too hot. Um, the pork belly was buttery. It's like, it's a unique flavor, so it's not like I eat it all the time. So like having it once in a while, this was a good pork belly to have once in a while. Yeah. No, I, I did not mind the fat. No. Yeah. No. Um, but yeah, I give it uh, two thumbs up. Check this place out. Like you said, it's off water in Hawthorne. Yep. And uh, we'll see you guys next week.